Welcome to Inflatable Movie Reviews. Today we have a very special guest review from our friend, Jonathan Bryan. This week, Sex in the City 2. One week in Abu Dhabi, all expenses paid for all four of us. Get out of town. My point exactly. In Sex in the City 2, it's been two years since Carrie Bradshaw finally bagged John Mr. Big Preston. As the monotony of married life begins to set in, she and the fashionable foursome take an all expense paid trip to Abu Dhabi. Any fan of the show will find this sequel entertaining, but the plot is secondary to a million costume and scenery changes. Which bloat the film to an astounding 2 hours and 27 minutes. There's a barrage of cameos sprinkled throughout with most of the actors playing themselves, which the regular cast seems to be doing too. Abu Dhabi? What? You? Why? I suppose after 12 years, becoming Carrie and the gang must be second nature for these actresses. Writer-director Michael Patrick King apparently wants me to applaud the girls for their unbendingly indulgent behavior. Being Americans in a Muslim nation, the girls frequently offend the locals, and the movie wants me to be happy about that. Well, I'm not Michael Patrick King. I think overall the movie was entertaining, but by the end I was so annoyed with Carrie and Samantha that I started wondering, what were Miranda and Charlotte up to? And I don't even like them. I guess the theme of Sex in the City 2 is marriage, but the message I got is never forget to sacrifice everything for a selfish whim. I give Sex in the City 2 2 out of 5 cougars. As long as people are still buying tickets, I'm sure we're going to be seeing the antics of Carrie and the gang long into their 60s and 70s. I'm Jonathan Bryan for Inflatable Movie Reviews. And now back to Matt. Thanks, Jonathan. Now I know what you're thinking. Why does he get to guest review and not me? Well, now's your chance. If you're a fan of the Twilight Saga, send us your review of Twilight or New Moon from your webcam, cell phone, or whatever you have handy. Remember, we aren't looking for production quality. We're looking for personality. The deadline for entries is June 26th, so make sure to get yours in soon. I'm Matt with Inflatable Movie Reviews.